Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today my lighting is super bad, but we're gonna get past it. We're not gonna worry about it. I currently cannot find the connector to like my tripod and my um, camera, so I, I'm filming right here for now. Um, today is St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's the green month. I really wish I had like a green headband to wrap it all together, but Come here. He's outside. Come here. He's outside. Say hello. Hello. And Jack is outside. What's your name? Baby. No, what's your name? Elijah. Elijah. What's and your... Eli. Yes. Oh, wait. Oh, you call it me E. Or I. <laughs> e. E. I just. I. Ah! <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay, so I just did my eyebrows. So sorry for my lighting. It's really bad. Don't mind my eyebrows. They look horrendous. We're not going to talk about them right now, okay? But I went ahead and did them just because it's boring and I've done my eyebrows in like every video. I just didn't want to do them beforehand so you can see what they look like after. Obviously, this isn't too great right now, but usually they look better, so. And part of this makeup St. Patrick's Day look is the eyeshadow in the eyes. So, uh, problem is, I only have like two green little things, and one of the green eyeshadows, I actually don't even know where it is. So, we only have really one thing to work with. So, we're gonna really try to make it look St. Patrick's Day-ish look with one little thing, um, so don't mind that. We're gonna make it work, we're gonna make it look really good, hopefully. I have an idea of how I want it to look, so let's just get into it. Okay, so the green eyeshadow we have isn't that good, so we're not gonna worry about that. Um, we're just gonna try to create a decently green look, if we possibly can. Good to zoom you guys in. Hopefully the lighting isn't too bad. It's a little washed out, but for the most part, it's okay. Um, at least you can see what I'm doing. So, I have this, which is going to be our savior, hopefully. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Rocky Mountain Green. And it's just this really pretty green color. And it looks like the perfect green. So, we're going to try to make it work. Um, we also have this Be A Bombshell. This palette is really good. Um, I'm mostly looking at it for like this color, which is more of a turquoise. I don't know if we'll use it, but it definitely has some little slight... Okay, it just looks really blue on here, but it has some slight greenness. Oh, actually, wait a minute. We found another green. So this one's more of like a light glittery green, but... It is a green, so that's really... Take this big blending brush by BH Cosmetics, and we're just going to take Skinny Legend, which is this color right there. Pat it in. And just kind of blend it outwards right here, and kind of bring it in. This is just our transition color to make the look not look totally crazy and like I just painted my eye with a crayon or something. Okay, what we're gonna do is take some tape. It's the only one I have. It's masking tape, I think. And I'm gonna put some under my eyes. Kind of like so. We're gonna take my favorite blending brush at the moment, which is the Frar, whatever it's called. Um, and this is a really good buffing brush. And we're just going to take this. Ew. Beach. I'm, there's a different way to say that, I'm sure. If you watch, um, whatever his name is. What's his name? Bretman Rock, I think. If you watch him, then you probably know how to say it, but I don't watch him. I just really like his palette. That 
that looks good. Okay, cool. Now we got that set. I think what we're going to do is just go straight in with the crayon and see how it looks. Hopefully it doesn't mess anything up. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. There's green on my eyelashes, though. I think that's the problem with this pencil. Mascara. The, their Real Benefit Mascara and the Hourglass Caution Mascara. I haven't used this one on its own yet, but I am going to build these on top of each other because this creates length but not a lot of volume. And I'm hoping this will create volume because we want those amazing lashes. So I actually forgot my eyelash curlish, so what I'm going to do is go get that and put mascara on. And hopefully we look better than we do now because we kind of look sickly. We'll fix the eye look, don't worry. That's crazy. <laughs> yes. Okay, now what we're going to do, since we look pretty crazy, um, I'm just going to go ahead and do the other eye. And then I will get back to you guys. Hopefully I can make them look similar. Probably not. But it was a very simple eye look. We only used three colors. So we should be okay. Where's my mirror? I'm going to go do this eye. I'll be right back. Hello. I take back what I said about this green. It's a pain in the butt. Cat. Oh my god. I get you love me and stuff, but chill. Chill. Woo! Yeah, I take back what I said. This green is so annoying. I hate it. I mean, I don't hate it, hate it, but it's fading in some areas. Um, it's very messy. Like, I even tried applying it on a brush. But with this eye, I don't know if you can see... But, like, there's, like, patchiness right there. And, like, right up there. And the brown turned a different color. I'm just really, really annoyed by it. But it's still... It's still a green, which is good. Boyfriend's gonna be here soon, so we need to finish up our makeup look. Um, we're going to the face now. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow face, you know thing we're going with my favorite stick the l'oreal infallible foundation stick i got this on sale for five dollars but it's originally 11 i saw it in store yesterday i'm almost out of it and i wanted to buy it but it's 11 dollars, and that's kind of expensive for me um so yeah but this is not the best color match for me it's definitely kind of yellowy orange um but i do really really like it and i just blend it down my neck and refine and i'm gonna take the real techniques blending brush to blend it out because this just works better with a brush if you build it up too much it will start to kind of look cakey i try not to build it up around Areas that get kind of cakey, like my nose or my chin or my forehead, especially my forehead, or around my nose, for that matter. I tried blending this foundation out with my BH Cosmetics, like, buffing foundation brush, but this type of brush works better. Um, they're a little bit more fluffy, a little bit more, like, spaced out. I don't know how to describe things. This is, like, more dense and packed, I guess. And this is very, some sparse. It has some thicker and then some thinner bristles. And I don't know. That just works better to blend it out. It doesn't look streaky or anything. Healer. Maybelline Fit Me. I just got a refill on this, which I'm really happy about. tiny little beauty blender I got it in a gift set on Black Friday and I just got back into it and I love it it's very soft very squishy 
and it has the perfect little edges to kind of blend everything out. Is these flat edges, this tip, and it's just really soft. It blends everything out really nicely. Literally like five minutes away, so we gotta hurry. Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. And I'm using a BH Cosmetics sculpting brush. Taking the NARS blush. Then I'm going to take. Mm, I broke it again. <laughs> yeah, this is the Flexitarian highlighter. It's my favorite thing in the entire universe. It is a little glittery, so watch where you apply it. I take my finger, put it where I want to put it. It's the softest thing you'll ever feel in your entire life. Put it on oh shoot I did it too close to my eyes whoops okay we're changed um I gotta let my eyebrows kind of dry because I put some a bunch of products on them like pomades and all that type of stuff to try to get them to do something good but it's not it's not there it's not gonna happen they just want to do their own thing today. They took the day off from being cute. They just said, nope, not today. Ooh, actually, wait a minute. I like the way that applied with this beauty blender. <laughs> yes, that's my new technique. Literally a tiny beauty blender. Dip it into the product. Apply to face. Heck yeah. That's beautiful. You guys can see like the actual, maybe if I zoom in a little bit, you can see it. Don't mind my, my eyebrows. Look at that highlight. I do wish I had like false lashes or something to oomph it up a little bit, but. What we're gonna do. Should I cut my hair back for this part? I got this, finally, this hyped up product, the Wet and Wild, Wet and Wild Photo Focus Rose Primer Fixer, Primer and Fixer, and we're just going to spray our face. I used this once yesterday. The mister is great, the smell, okay, the smell doesn't really smell like roses, like it kind of does. But it also just kind of doesn't. And I usually do this with my beauty blender. But it's all the way on the other side of the room. And we gotta work fast. So I'm just gonna use my foundation brush. Hopefully it creates the same effect. Just gonna apply like a nude lip. I'm still like, gotta brush my teeth and everything. So I'm not gonna apply it. But I will apply like a nude glossy lip. But this is what we look like. Of course, don't mind this. Like, as long as I don't shut my eyes, we're good. Because <laughs> if we shut our eyes, everything goes downhill. So, this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I know it wasn't super St. Patrick's Day, but I have the green, so it does something. I will see you guys in my next video. Adios.